This skill training video has been produced by Semka in collaboration with PSSC and CNK. This video is aligned to the job role Electrician Domestic Solutions PSS Oblique Q6001 QP code PSS Oblique N6001 PSS Oblique N6002 and PSS Oblique N6003 We are now going to learn the step-by-step -step procedure to test, repair and maintain a rooftop solar system. Let us first discuss repairing and maintenance. Repairing Repairing means putting something that is damaged, broken or not working correctly back into good condition or make it to work again. Maintenance Maintenance is an expense that unlike capital improvement which extends an asset's life, maintenance helps to increase the life as well as limit breakdown. Difference between repairing and maintenance Maintenance is a service required to ensure that any equipment works optimally for a long time. These services include cleaning and more. Repairs are the services that are needed when a part is not working correctly. Either the part has malfunctioned or it has become worn out to the point where the part needs to be replaced to maintain the performance of the equipment or part or machinery. Introduction to Solar Roof Top System Roof top means the top surface of the roof of a building. Solar energy refers to capturing the energy from the sun and subsequently converting it into electricity. We can also call it solar power. The sun's energy is in the form of solar radiation. A rooftop photovoltaic power station or rooftop PV system is a photovoltaic system that has its electricity generating solar panels mounted on the rooftop of a residential building, commercial building or any other structure. The solar panel converts sunlight into direct current or DC electricity. This DC electricity is used to charge a battery through a charge controller. The inverter converts DC power from the solar panel or battery into alternating current or AC power. AC power output from an inverter can be used to operate lights, fans, TVs, computers and so on. Nowadays AC power output is connected directly to the utility grid system and is metered as required for regulatory compliance to maintain continuity of power supply to consumers. Thus consumers also export excess power generation developed from solar panels to utilities and get rebates on electricity bills. Now you are seeing 315 watt solar panel. Blue color section on the top of the solar panel is solar module. This is made of number of small module connected with each other. Solar module is a single photovoltaic panel that is an assembly of connected solar cells. The solar cells absorb sunlight as a source of energy to generate electricity. An array of modules are used to supply power to buildings. A solar module typically consists of an assembly of 6x10 solar cells. The solar cells efficiency and wattage output can vary depending on the type and quality of solar cells used. A solar module can produce 100 to 365 watts of DC electricity. On above solar module transparent protective glass fixed which passes solar energy to solar cell and protects solar module from damages. Now you can see solar stand on which solar panel fix. You can see the positive and negative terminal wire which came from solar which will connect to battery through battery charger. Tools required for repair and maintenance of the rooftop solar system. Multimeter, spanner set, screwdriver. Rated voltage of solar panels is 18.77 volt DC and rated current 16.80 ampere DC. Rated open circuit voltage 22.99 volt DC surge circuit current is 18.10 ampere DC. First we will check generation voltage from solar panel. Now technician selecting DC voltage mode in multimeter. Now we are measuring voltage which is coming around 20.3 volt DC. Positive and negative wire from solar panel connected with solar connector which is clip in type. Through solar connector it will connect to battery charger. Now we are clip in positive and negative terminal with battery charger terminal. When number of solar panel will be more than one, then we have to make series of parallel combination depends on inverter and battery combination. If our inverter bus voltage is 12 volt DC and we have two solar panel, then we will connect both the solar panel in parallel that is panel 1 positive and panel 2 positive wire together and panel 1 and panel 2 negative wire together. 
Common positive and negative terminal will connect to solar charge controller. After that, it will connect to battery and inverter. But if inverter bus voltage is 24 volt DC and number of battery as well as solar panel is 2, then we will connect both the solar panel in series that is panel 1 negative and panel 2 positive wire together. And panel 1 positive wire and panel 2 negative wire will connect to solar charge controller. After that, it will connect to battery connected in series and inverter. Now you are seeing inverter and battery with solar charge controller. Solar panel positive and negative terminal connected at input terminal of solar charger controller. Output from solar charge controller connected at battery terminal. Here we are using 12 volt 150 ampere hour battery. We are not connecting direct solar power supply to battery. As we are not getting fixed voltage from solar panel. It varies time to time therefore we are using solar charge controller. Solar charge controller controls the voltage coming from solar panel and deliver to battery as per their rating. Inverter you are seeing is 900 volt ampere. Also battery connected with the inverter. By this way we can charge battery with solar panel as well as grid power supply available in house and use as per requirement. Now we will see repair and maintenance of rooftop solar system. Maintenance Need for maintenance Most PV systems require little maintenance but periodic checks ensure safety and optimal performance. Annual or every other year inspections are recommended. If energy output changes significantly during clear weather, you need to check and repair. Inspections at time of system ownership change. Degree and frequency of maintenance acquired depends on system configuration, installation type and location. PV maintenance procedures. The procedures for maintenance are listed below. 1. Perform visual inspection. 2. Verify system operation as we have seen voltage coming around. 20.3 volt DC showing it is in good condition. 3. We will check panel stand is proper or not. 4. We will check solar panel connector is proper or not. 5. We will check tightness at solar panel terminal and cable insulation condition. 6. Fuse healthiness connected in between solar panel and inverter. 7. We will check the earthing of the system. 8. Always at the time of maintenance we will clean the solar panel. Before solar panel cleaning, we will disconnect the connector connected with inverter terminal. Now we will gently clean the solar panel glass with cloth. On regular interval cleaning, we will avoid composition of dust on solar panel glass, which will enhance the solar panel output. Repairing Like all other energy producing devices, solar panel components are also prone to damages. Faulty components of solar panels are easy to recognize as they lead to diminished yields and less output from the solar installation. Fortunately, solar panel repairs can help resolve the most common problems that affect solar panels provided they are performed in time by field experts. Prior knowledge of the commonly occurring problems in solar panel problems can reduce additional investments in the form of new PV components. Given below are some issues that can make solar panels underperform or render them useless and beyond repair. Micro cracks and hot spots. The decision to repair these micro fractures and hot spots would depend on the way the panels have been set up in specific installations. In case a roof integrator system is in place, it has to be dismounted in entirety even though a couple of panels may be underperforming. It is worthwhile to clean and ascertain the level of damage in all panels before repairing the broken glass panels. Dirt accumulation can also lead to lower output from solar panels and should not be overlooked. Potential induced degradation is attributed to voltage fluctuations taking place between the voltage generated by the panel and earthing of the solar panel. This leads to a varying percentage of discharge voltage in the main power circuit. Experts in solar panel repair can rectify the issue at hand to prevent faster aging of solar panels and stabilize their performance. Loose wiring. Unexpected power generation issues may emerge as a result of loose wires in the solar power system. These wires connect individual PV cells to the inverters and home solar batteries. The smallest of wiring faults may cause failed connections. Installers with experience in solar panel repairs and maintenance use meters and other wire performance checking tools to assess such problems and provide helpful solutions in good time. Inner Module Damage Internal damages to solar panels may be caused by faulty production or poor quality selection of components. 
they result in discoloration of solar connectors or cells, yellowing of the sheets placed at the back, browning of EVA films, PV cell staining, unwanted inclusions in the PV laminates, burning out of the back and or front of the solar modules, and so on. In most cases, experts remove glass from solar panels so that they can be repaired or changed. However, the type and extent of the damage are best ascertained by solar panel repair companies to determine the feasibility of the action. Module damages caused by external factors, storm, hail, snow pressure, lightning and other related weather conditions can cause extensive damage to solar modules. External damage may also occur due to fire, animal bites, broken branches, icy conditions and excessive heat or cold. These factors lead to solar panel glass breaking, cell breaking, scratches on the frame of the module, micro cracks and so on. Long and persistent cold weather conditions can twist or freeze solar panel frames, thereby causing breakage. Lightning and over voltage results in defective bypass, diodes, scorched junction boxes and so on. In most cases, if solar PV cells and panels are exposed to fire, they cannot be repaired and become useless.